We are rolling into Covington, Texas. Appreciate everybody joining us today. Looking kind of scenic over here. This is Hill County. It is a little hilly. Good place to put the house right on top of one of these little hills. We're outside of Covington, Texas. We're rolling into town now. Uh, I think we're just a mile or two outside of town. Census showed uh, 270 people in uh, 2021. Probably got a few more now. We're going to roll into town and see what it looks like. I'll see a water tower off in the distance. We got to be getting close. Lots of farmland out here. Far as I can see. Here we are rolling into town. It's Cleburne to the right, Hillsboro to the left, and we are entering Covington. Population sign says. 285. We're going to roll right on into the old part of town here and see what it looks like. Right off the bat, they got a nice little park to the left here, City Park. Uh, a police car for sale if anybody's looking for a police car I've actually already got one of those howdy howdy city of Covington pit stop pizza Thursday Friday it's only open two days a week is pretty cool. Let's go down here. Church. I've never been to Covington before. I don't even know if I've heard of it. This is a tiny town south of Dallas Fort Worth. the school looks like a nice quiet place nice quiet place junction 171 Pretty cool tree house. I'm flying solo today. I'm glad y'all are riding with me. Gotta have somebody to talk to. That one was pretty rough. I have to go back by there and take a look at that. We'll make a Huey. Go back uh, towards that side of town. The main part of town. We're actually rolling out now. So let's turn around. some projects there for sure it's nice to have a few projects nice to have a few projects 
sometimes it gets out of hand. Some really cold places. one up here on the right. Looks like it's been abandoned for a long time. It, it used to be in a really nice big house. We just came right here from the left hand street. Here we go. We just found this one over here in Covington, Texas. It is a gym. We're going to keep on cruising. Covington, Texas. Seen a couple of good old homesteads on the outside of town we'll try to look at on the way out of here. Look like they were long forgotten. This is a road. Let's go down here. Oh, this one's cool. I like the pointy brick house over here on the left. This one's been abandoned. Really cool. Pointy brick ones. Covington, Texas. That one's seen better days. Looks like somebody thought about redoing it. They got some siding there. Somebody had some plans, maybe. Old one seen better days. That one's in need, need of some love too. In need of love. Nice quiet little place. County's pretty nice. It's, everything that I've seen of it, I really like it. I like the rolling hills. And I know a lot of it's just flat, you know, not necessarily flat prairie, but you know, farm fields and they've got some really nice, really nice areas in Hill County. Great road maintenance, but what can you expect from 200 and what was it, 80 something people? Let's see. It's a big old radio tower. Restroom, a little tiny restroom at the park. Post office with the POW MIA flag. I think I'm going to put the link to one of those in my description of every video so y'all can buy one if you want. POW MIA flag.
So we drove by all this stuff. A little volleyball court over here on the left. I didn't notice that. I went to the right. Well, let's go straight. Let's go straight on through and see what it looks like down there. It's the only direction we didn't go yet. Hopefully we didn't lose too much footage on the camera dying. Really nice old one right there. Some vines hanging all the way down here into the road. This one is for sale. A little tiny house over here. Doesn't look like it has any land. Cemetery Road. Smoke stables to the left. Big nice new house right here. Big nice new house. Wellington Cemetery, 1852 to, okay, we got to go back, guys, there's a historical marker on it, 1852 to 1978, did they stop putting people in here, or what? I want to see if I can jump out real quick without blocking up the traffic. There is no traffic. Okay, guys, Covington Cemetery. Established in the mid-1800s, the Covington Cemetery honors the memory of the early Texas pioneers of Hill County. Got to watch this. Pretty sure those are fire ant piles. Um, the memory of early Texas pioneers of Hill County and their descendants. In the early 1850s, James Jackson gather, gatherings moved from Mississippi to Texas, bringing his family, slaves, and enough livestock and essentials for creating a new life on the Blackland Prairie of North Central Texas. In May of 1853, he purchased 3,136 acres on Aquila Creek, which was the first recorded land purchase James made in Hill County in 1854. James' younger brother, Philip Gatherings, purchased 1,471 acres adjacent to his brother, and together they developed two large plantations for agriculture and raising livestock. James designated 100 acres of land to be laid out in lots of one to five acres for the town of Covington. He installed a steam mill, sawmill, tannery, wood shop, cloth loom, and brickyards. The brothers donated 10 acres for a church and the gatherings, male and female colleges for the first in Hill County. I had to make sure I wasn't blocking anybody. The earliest marked graves in the Covington Cemetery is for James Gathering's son-in-law, Joseph Patterson Weir. 1831 to 1864, who was killed during the Civil War at the Battle of Yellow Bayou in Louisiana. Joseph was initially buried near the battlefield. James and Joseph's body, James had Joseph's body brought home and re-entered in the highest elevation of the cemetery. The cemetery includes 7.5 acres and almost 2,500 marked graves maintained by the Covington Cemetery Fund. In 1970, Allie Plumley, Lucille Cowley Williams, and Willetta Gatherings McCall organized the townspeople to clean and restore the cemetery. A distinguishing feature of the cemetery is the native rock wall surrounding the property. You can see that here. Pretty cool. Good job. 
All right. Rolling out of the cemetery in Covington. Really nice little town. I like it. it seems really quiet. I like it. Yes, I stopped so long on that one. No three trucks. And no swerving. Covington, Texas. Not too bad. Really old looking one right over here. Somebody's still living in it. 2 Hill County Sheriff's over here in this little town. Usually one of the only things to do when you work out in these little towns, or you, yeah, when you work in the little towns, you work for the city or county or something. A lot of times that's one of the big employers. Unless you want to drive to the big city. Pretty nice school system it looks like. Independent school district. The water tower up there. Not much to it. Seems like a pretty cool little place. If y'all are ever over here south of Fort Worth, come check out Covington, Texas. I'm gonna swerve on out of here. Go find another tiny town to check out. I appreciate y'all watching. Click on one of them links down there. Watch another video. Hit that subscribe button. We're trying to gain momentum and get us some subscribers. So hit that subscribe button. We appreciate all of y'all watching. Have a good one. Thank you.